Jet engines are one of humanity's most valuable creations to date. What began as a simple engineering marvel in 1930 has now become the basic operational apparatus for aircraft. Even though technology has progressed over the years with the passage of time, and these jet engines have shown progress compared with the technology implemented back then, there is still room for more improvements. And in the field of jet engines, a new kind of jet engine has begun to surface. The electric plasma jet engine has arrived to take over. We'll be telling you all about these plasma jet engines, what they are, what goes into making them, how they are built, their advantages, and much more. If this is your first time watching us, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you never miss any future videos. Let's jump right into the video without any further delay. Fuel-powered jet engines are bound to become history with this invention at the top of the pecking order. We are on the verge of having aircraft that can fly from the ground up using air and electricity technology alone. Traditional jet engines manage to create thrust by mixing compressed air with fuel and then igniting it. The burning mixture then expands rapidly and is blasted out of the back of the engine, pushing it forwards. That isn't the case with plasma jet engines, though. These jet engines work differently, as they use electricity to generate electromagnetic fields. Plasma jet engines compress and excite a gas, such as argon, into a plasma, similar to that inside a fusion reactor, where the molecules fuse to release vast amounts of energy. Plasma engines have been researched for quite some time now, with work on them being carried out to propel satellites into space. The challenge these engineers had was developing an air-breathing plasma propulsion jet engine that could be used for takeoff and high-altitude flying. Plasma jet engines are designed to work in a vacuum, or very low pressures found up above in the atmosphere where they need to carry a gas supply. But scientists have tested a plasma engine that can operate in an air pressure of one atmosphere. What's impressive about these plasma jets is that they can reach speeds of up to 20 kilometers a second. The team of scientists working on this project used a rapid stream of nanosecond-long electric discharges to fire up the propulsion mixture. Another similar technique is used in pulse detonation combustion engines, making them more efficient than standard engines that use fuel as their energy source. When completion is done, these plasma jet thrusters could significantly extend the range of any aircraft and lower operational costs. Then again, this entire project doesn't come without its drawbacks. Several hurdles need to be leaped before this technology is put to practical use. The team tested many thrusters that were 80 millimeters long for starters, and a commercial airliner would need about 10,000 of them to fly. Now, this makes the current design too complex for aircraft of that size. The team plans to target smaller and more compact planes for the time being. They might also end up using airships to further improve on their existing prototypes. Between 100 and 1,000 thrusters would be more than enough for the small plane which the research team thinks would be more than feasible to carry the project forward. Another significant limitation that the plasma jet engine faces is the lack of lightweight batteries. A considerable amount of electricity is required to generate and sustain the plasma required for the engine. An array of thrusters would require a small electrical power plant, which would be impossible to mount on an aircraft with today's technology. The power supply is also a barrier to make the individual thrusters bigger. Doing this would reduce the number needed to propel a plane, but each of them would require more power. Other possible alternatives could be solar panels or beaming power wirelessly to the engines. The other options this research team is looking into are compact hybrid planes in which the plasma engine would be combined with pulse detonation combustion engines or rockets to save on fuel. There is a possibility that one day we may fly without fossil fuels by making use of plasma jets. But the absence of air friction is a huge problem. If air plasma jets ever become practical, they could reduce fossil fuel use and greenhouse gas emissions. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, aircraft contribute 12% of U.S. transportation emissions and account for 3% of the nation's total greenhouse gas production. Globally, aviation produced 2.4% of total carbon dioxide emissions in 2018. With these numbers not looking to come down anytime soon, Air and electricity and thrusters like these have become a necessity. The estimated time research teams have given for this project may be practically implemented in five years. In it, small pilotless planes may carry cargo for shipping at first. As the procedure succeeds and more troubleshooting is carried out, it will lead to better future designs. Paying attention to reducing the thruster's weight and size is vital. How it is managed will be exciting to see. This project that is in the pipeline sounds exciting as ever. 
With plasma jet engines being considered very seriously for the future, they could be here to take over once the project kicks off. That is all for today. Having seen this video and heard the information, do you think we will see plasma jet engines any time in the near future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you and see you very soon with another exciting video.